Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we are showing you the Carlsbad jacket and pant from Klein. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we are showing you the Carlsbad jacket and pant from Klein. So we all know Klein has a big lineup of adventure touring gear. And where the Carlsbad fits in their lineup, it's gonna sit below the Badlands Pro. Kinda has the same intention as far as the rider that would be wearing it. But for riders that are maybe looking at the Badlands and it maybe it's just a little bit overkill, has too many features or it's too heavy or just the price point's a little bit too high. Well, the next step down would be the Carlsbad. So this is designed for the more aggressive adventure rider. When we talk about the fit here in just a minute, you'll see that it is designed to be a little bit roomier, to have a little bit more mobility. But again, if you like the Badlands, but again, overkill, maybe price point's too high, the Carlsbad would be the next step in the lineup that you would want to take a look at. So we're gonna go through, you still have Amazing construction with this, really good protection. You got the Gore-Tex Performance Shell, guaranteed to keep you dry for life. But we just wanna go through and show you all the features that you're getting with this to help you decide if this should be your next set of gear. Now, before we dive in and we talk about the features, let's cover fit real quick. So Daniel, who is wearing it, Daniel's about six feet, one inches tall, about 185 pounds. He has but between a 41 and a 40 twinch chest. So he sits kind of right between a medium and a large on the sizing scale. So he's wearing a size large right now. So for him, it's a little bit roomier, maybe in the chest, in the torso area than what he might prefer, but the length of the sleeves hits him a little bit better than medium. So again, he is kind of right in between sizes. But what's nice about this fit, again, for the aggressive adventure rider, you've got plenty of room underneath, and obviously this is not going to come with mid layers, so it does leave you plenty of room to rock mid layers underneath this if you do need to. But keep in mind, we do have a fit guarantee, no matter what jacket, no matter what adventure gear you buy, if you don't like how it fits, send it back in brand new, unused condition. We wanna make sure you get the size of fit that fits you best, so we give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. Now, let's talk about the construction and how this is similar to the Badlands Pro, but also different. So this jacket actually uses the same base fabric as the Badlands, so it's already very abrasion resistant, but over top the shoulders, you have the 630D Cordura ripstop fabric, so great abrasion resistance there. We talked about the protection. You've got D3 molecular armor CE level two. You're gonna have that in the shoulders, the elbows, as well as the back pads. So you've got that ripstop fabric there. You can see it, you've got it here in the chest. You've also got it down here on the cargo pockets. And when Daniel turns around in a moment, you'll see there's a lot of that also on the back of the jacket as well. So as we work your way down the uh, sleeves here, this light gray fabric here is a lighter weight fabric. This is actually what they use on the previous Carlsbad. And something interesting that I did this time is I wanted to know the weight difference between this and the Badlands Pro, so I weighed the two. And there was actually a larger weight difference than what we were expecting. This jacket is actually two pounds lighter than the Badlands Pro, and that is a weight difference that you will feel when you put the two on back to back. So that is another thing that I would maybe want to consider if I were looking at the two jackets. So you do, it is quite a bit lighter. Now, down here at the bottom on the forearms, you do have these adjustment straps. You don't have any adjustment straps here along the torso area. Again, just a little bit more room for the rider. But what I do like, there's a lot of venting on this jacket. So you've got this massive two-way vent zip down here on the forearm. So if you want to keep the cuff closed, you go from the top down. If not, you can come from the bottom up. Get a lot of airflow coming in there. We'll show you the exhaust vents on the back in just a moment. What's also nice too is they give you plenty of room to get this over a gauntlet glove if that is what you are rocking. So up here in the chest area, if we start at the top, around the collar, super soft material here so it's not gonna chafe. I do wanna show you as well that when we open this up, they do give you the ability, if you do want, that on each side you have these little elastic loops. And you can see you've got the hooks here, one on each shoulder. So if Daniel wanted to, if he was in some hot conditions, he wants a lot of airflow, he would just take that and that would hook that and keep that open. And I do like that they give you that on both sides. You'll also notice too, like we've seen on other climb jackets, they give you a lot of reflectivity. You've got it up here on the top of the chest. You've also got it on the arms. What climb always tries to do with their adventure gear is make it to where the reflectivity is mimicking the actual shape of the human body so a car can recognize you. So you've got this pocket here, and then on the right side, you've got this massive pocket. You can see it's very large. This actually doubles as a vent too because there's mesh that sits behind this. Now right here on the left chest, this is actually for your GPS communicator. So you can do your spot inside here or your Garmin inReach Mini. Great location for that. That's nice to have it on you versus on the bike. So if you do go down, you have that always with you. But here are your chest vents. So they have put these in a location 
where when you're sitting down or standing up on the bike, that riding position is actually, Daniel, put your arms up like you were riding. That riding position is actually going to help keep these vents open, get as much airflow going through that as possible. So you've got your two cargo pockets down here at the bottom. These are water resistant. So you can see those are Velcro. You get a lot of storage space inside there. They are gusseted to help those open up a little bit. And then you also do have hand warmer pocket with snaps on each side as well. All right, Daniel, actually real quick before he turns around, you also last pocket will show you on the inside or the outside here. You do have an ID pocket here. Just put your ID pocket or identification right here if you do want to. All right, Daniel, turn and face the back for me. So in the back, again, this is that very heavy duty abrasion resistant fabric. Underneath this, you have again that D3OCE level two back protector. Down here at the bottom, there is more of that 630D Cordura ripstop fabric, more reflectivity down here at the bottom. And then one on each side, you've got the big exhaust vents to help that air that's coming in through the front escape out the back. Now, one difference I do want to point out as well between this and the Badlands Pro is that the Badlands Pro does have a water hydration pack or compartment that you can put a bladder in, whereas the Carlsbad, the Carlsbad is not going to have that. All right, Danny, face back to the front. So last thing we'll do is open it up. All right. So down at the bottom, hold that side open, Daniel. You do have a cinch cord down here if you want to cinch up the bottom a little bit. You've got some more internal pockets on the inside. You've got some pockets up here at the top, little mesh pocket here. Two more down at the bottom. You can see this one here. And also, you can, if you do want to, do, they do have a zipper right here. It's kind of hard to see. But this will give you the ability to run a waist belt or a kidney belt through the jacket if you do want to. So that will come already included with the Badlands Pro. But again, with that jacket being two pounds heavier, you know, for some riders, you might want it with the Carlsbad, some might not. So they give you the option to add that later if you do want to. So that is the jacket. Now let's get Daniel up on the box and we'll talk about the pant. So the pant is going to have the same construction as the jacket. You're going to have D3O armor in the knees as well as the hips, which is going to be adjustable. Now the fit on these, keep in mind too, just like the jacket is designed to be a little bit roomier, but up here at the waist, you can see you've got a zipper crotch, two snaps right here to close that shut. But what's nice though is that they do give you plenty of adjustability with the waistband on this pant. Same base fabric as the jacket. When you get here to the thighs, you've got two big vents, one on each side to help get that airflow going through. Big cargo pockets on here. You can see there's that 630D ripstop fabric over top of that with a pop of reflectivity. As you work your way over the knee, more of that ripstop, again, adding to the abrasion resistance. But then, Dan, to turn the left leg out for me. What I do like about this pant is that you have goat skin leather knee panels from just above the knee all the way down to about mid calf. So excellent durability with the pant there. Now Danny, turn and face the back. You got that 630D ripstop here in the entire seat working its way down to just above the knee. You can see you do have a jacket to pant zipper combo on here as well. But then here at the bottom, you've got your vent. You can keep those open, help that warm air escape. If you don't want to do that, just zip those right up. As you work your way down, Again, same fabric, but you do have these adjusters here on the back of the calf if you want to cinch those down and kind of cinch up some of that extra fabric. But then what I do like too is that down here along the bottom, more reflectivity, but you've got a large zippered gusset to make this very easy to get over top of your boots. And then you do have three snaps here, so you have plenty of adjustment to get that exactly how you want to fit. Turn back to the front for me, Daniel. So last thing with the pan, again, just like the jacket, you have the Gore-Tex Performance Shell, so guaranteed to keep you dry, guaranteed for life. All right, so there it is. That is a Carlsbad jacket and pant from Climb. Again, designed more for the aggressive adventure rider looking for some gear that is very versatile, that's gonna have a lot of extra room as far as the cut and the fit goes. Again, it sits below the Badlands Pro and their lineup, but you're saving a lot of weight and the price tag is definitely not nearly as steep. So again, if that is something you're interested in, be sure to check this out. To grab yours today, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. As always, orders are over $75 ship free, which means this gear is going to ship free. If you like this video and you wanna see more gear spotlights like you saw today, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.